Hi, everybody. It's Mark Russian of markrushton.com. It is Tuesday, December 28, 2021. And Amazon Music for Artists is constantly rejecting my artist claim. And so this is a video that's going to be about uh, showing how I've been uh, rejected five times so far for my artist Meditative Drift. I think I've been re uh, rejected three or four times for Vibrating Wires. A couple others. We'll get around to them. I have been um, approved for a bunch of them. So I do have a bit of my artist roster, my label out there on Amazon Music for Artists. But uh, some of these are a little uh, difficult. And I'm going to talk about the process. I'm not going to show the process, but I'm going to talk about the process. And it, it's it's a little, it's a little, game. it needs some refinement. Let's just put it that way. So uh, yeah, I'm an independent musician. Uh, publishing largely ambient music, beat-driven electronica, uh, avant-garde-ish stuff, field recordings, and all that sort of stuff. I've been doing it for 20-odd years now. And um, so as you can see here, uh, received just a little bit ago, Amazon Music for Artists, my claim for meditative drift. Uh, but we don't have enough information to prove it. <laughs> If you want to try again, like, connect your so artist so official official social media accounts. Link to the service that you use to distribute your music. Uh, share the URLs of the official artist, label, and or management websites. And uh, <laughs> you'll hear back from us in a few days. Who are you? Who are you? Are you do you even I bet you don't even work in the music industry. What do you want to bet? That's that's my guess that you're just some sort of hired hand and cross the planet. You're going down, a, that's my guess anyway, you're just going down a list. And it's probably easier to reject, which I understand. It's probably easy to reject because everybody out there wants to have a Drake's account or Taylor Swift's or somebody like that. But meditative drift, again, isn't setting the world on fire, but as I like to say, people are looking for the kind of music uh, that I make, not necessarily me, right? So it really doesn't matter who I, anyway, let's just get on with it here. So as you can see, yeah, I've, I've been rejected five times and I'm not so eager uh, about uh, applying again. So that's why I'm making this video. And so this is one of the URLs that I give Amazon Music for Artists every single time. I think every single time I've uh, applied with them is markrushton.com and then my click on my label for Nasser recordings you scroll down a bit here and you see meditative drift releases bubbly ambient electronic music and also alternative christmas music follow on spotify and uh have the facebook artist page one other thing is that and i tell them this in the tiny little space that they give you to to provide text and context for everything is down here at the bottom is all my contact information, my physical address, uh, my uh, phone number that leads to voicemail. And you can also email me as well. Gee, it's not very difficult to get a hold of me, right? So there's that. That's the first part. The second part is that link takes you over to this particular Facebook page, which is just sort of a perfunctory Facebook page for meditative drift. People want to follow along. Eventually, I will probably add more stuff there there's some album when albums are released they get they get added there or whatever and uh, so i provide that url i have provided that url in the past so that's a couple of the things that i have provided amazon music for artists now i'm not going to show the form that they have you fill out but uh, they want you to provide E, uh, either a Twitter account, Instagram, or Facebook. And, and I, I don't see the point of Twitter uh, and Instagram for a musician. I just don't see it. Facebook, I did this just, just to try to qualify into other things. It's perfunctory. And, uh, and then the, uh, the distributors that, you, that you're fast-tracked with are DistroKid, TuneCore, TuneCore Japan, and CD Baby. Now, CD Baby is owned by the same company that owns SoundDrop, and Meditative Drift is distributed by SoundDrop. I mentioned this. It falls on deaf ears. 
So it's like, is the person, are the people who are rejecting this, do they even know anything about music distribution, anything about the industry? It seems like perhaps that they don't. It's my guess. Some hired gun halfway around the world, probably. My guess. Uh, so there's that. And then they provide a very tiny little area in there for extra explanation, context, URLs, etc. It doesn't go very far. Now, I'm going to go a little bit further here, and I'm going to show, uh, <laughs> just in case somebody from Amazon Music for Artists sees this video, or you're constantly getting rejected too, I figured I would make a video and just kind of show that, yeah, I am Meditative Drift, beyond just the label and the page and everything like that. And the first place we're going to go to is the ASCAP Titles Database Repertory. And this is the most recent song that has been released by Meditative Drift. It's called Social Drifting. And as you can see, this uh, uh, and then these are my uh, IPI for my writer and my IPI for my publisher. And that corresponds with this information on this particular page here. So you can see my writer IPI and publisher IPI, they're the same. And the, the track, it's got an ISWC. It also has an ISRC, which is not out here, but it's, it, I think that's on the MLC page. So you can look up tracks, performers. I, of course, I don't have the performer listed in here. It, it, ASCAP is a, a little quirky. And then also my, what do they call it? My registering agent is not necessarily ASCAP, but it's Song Trust. All of my worldwide mechanical and publishing royalties on the sound recording are handled by Song Trust. So let's go over to the MLC. And of course, the MLC receives its data from, from Song Trust when I enter that in there. And in this case, social drifting is here. And this is in the uh, the, the portal, mlc.com. It's a public search. You can go search any title out there. And as you can see, the writer is Mark Rushton. There's my IPI publisher, Mark Rushton. And Song Trust is the administrator. That's the right word. And the, there's, the, there's the ISRC. Ends in 775, right? All right. So where do we go from here? Well, I I did try to, I sent Sean McMullen. There's no way to get a hold of anybody at Amazon Music for Artists. If you just go in through the front door, they're just going to want to know where your package is. And uh, it's this isn't about a package, right? So it's, it's, it's uh Trying to get a hold of somebody on Amazon Music for Artists is is impossible. It's it's easier to get somebody at well, Spotify for Artists is pretty easy. Uh, Pandora app super easy. Uh, Deezer for Artists is pretty easy. Geo Seven One is I can I can eventually get somebody. Amazon for Music for Artists nothing hands off. It's like Google. It's like what. Why are you doing? Oh, it it was like Google. It is like Google because when Google had Google Play for music, I, I couldn't get a hold of anybody there too. When uh, we were doing the whole uh, back in the day when we did our uh, what is, what was that stuff called? The uh, blanket license, the licensing, the NOIs, notice of intents. Of course, the notice of intent changed after the uh, Music Modernization Act, and that begat the MLC. So anyway, I sent Sean McMullen a letter. I figured I'd send it out to one of the Amazon uh, studios or some look out near Culver City. Have, that was a few weeks ago. And I know people are probably on vacation, haven't heard anything. So whatever. And of course, I'm, I'm clicking on his profile here. I can't send him a message. I'm not on the LinkedIn pay version. But uh, hey, man, if, uh, if you see this, get a hold of me. No hard feelings, but let me show you a little bit more here just to show you that I, I really do. I am meditative drift and I'm going to have to do some meditative drifting after this. <laughs> so Spotify for artists, as you can see, I'm logged in and, um, yeah, I am vibrating wires. I've already made a pitch there and, uh, gosh, look at that meditative drift. There is in my, my roster, uh, same thing with Pandora amp. And uh, I usually don't like to show numbers, but it, it, doing okay. Doing okay on Pandora. Not bad for a brand new act, right? And uh, 
So as you can see, I'm logged into here and I have control of this. And, and for the final thing here, SoundDrop, I'm logged into SoundDrop here. As you can see, Mark Rushton here at the bottom and the most recent track, Social Drifting, Nasser Recordings. There's the UPC. I don't know what else you want, right? I, I'm not quite sure what, what, what else Amazon Music for Artists wants, but constantly being rejected is a, a waste of my time. I understand that you probably get people wanting to be, you know, I don't know, Prince or the Beatles or whoever, but uh, you need to have a little area for, um, I guess, I don't know, appeals or something like that some sort of contact information or whatever. And uh, th that'd be nice. Or, uh, you know, reach out to me. Uh, it's, 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 not, it's not difficult to reach out to me. And uh, let's try to get this cleared up, right? I can give you, I can give you all my, uh, I can give you all my artist names. It's, uh, it's super easy to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying here. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. Well, I might do another video later. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, Amazon Music for Artists, constantly rejecting my artist claims. Well, what am I going to do? Make a video about it. And I'm not, I'm being cranky, but I'm not being cranky, you know, because uh, I don't know, that meditation helps. Let me tell you. All right. Talk to you later.